Yes, Tesla is making robots. I'm going to share three highlights from Tesla's AI day. They just published a two and a half hour presentation. I'll link it down in the description below so they can watch the whole YouTube live stream. So uh, what, what we want to uh, show today is that uh, Tesla is uh, much more than an electric car company, uh, that we have uh, deep AI activity uh, in um, hard hardware on the inference level, on the training level, um, and, uh, and basically, we, I, we, I think we're, I think arguably the leaders in real world AI as it applies to the real world. Elon Musk's main goal for this event is to recruit the world's best AI talent. Welcome back to Investing at Darren. Click the subscribe button to get more Tesla videos like this. Let's get started. Number one, Tesla bot. I think this is what the general public is going to remember the most. With more than 1.5 million intelligent cars on road, Elon Musk argues that Tesla is probably the biggest robotics company in this world. Combining expertise in computer vision, sensors, batteries, actuators, Tesla sees humanoid form robots as a sensible next step. It basically looks like this. Um, and it's intended to um, uh, be friendly, of course, um, <laughs> and uh, navigate through a world uh, built for humans and uh, eliminate dangerous, repetitive, and boring tasks. The Tesla bot can help humans do mundane tasks, take on risky work to keep humans safe and free up our time for the things that matter more to us. Tesla is looking to release a prototype in 2022, next year. Elon Musk says that you can run away from it and most likely overpower it. Kill the Terminator memes. Well, we, we certainly hope this does not feature in a dystopian sci-fi movie. Tesla isn't alone. There is another company that is also capturing our imaginations when it comes to robotics. That's Boston Dynamics. They've paved the way to show how robots can be commercialized and be helpful to human society. Let's watch a clip. Traditional robots, it's impossible for them to get where we need them to go. SPOT allows us to conduct our asset inspection tasks very repeatedly and regularly. It's going to increase productivity. While also keeping our employees out of harm's way. that the opportunities and the possibilities are literally endless. Number two, the D1 chip. Tesla director Ganesh Bunkata Ramanan revealed a new in-house and custom-built chip called the D1 chip that will run Tesla's supercomputer, Dojo. It uses a 7 nanometer manufacturing process with 362 teraflops of processing power. When we click together 354 of these training nodes, we get our computer A. It's capable of delivering 362 teraflops of machine learning compute. It has the same processing power as 36 PlayStation 5s combined. This chip is fully optimized for machine learning workloads. It's able to process all the camera imaging data four times faster than other computing systems. This is important because Tesla is going to go from 1.5 million cars on a road today to 10 million cars by 2025. Tesla's vehicles have to make very quick decisions on the road, and the improvements here will help accelerate Tesla's goal of making autopilot 10 times safer than human drivers because of Tesla's tight integration of hardware and software. All of these improvements can be pushed to users through over-the-air software updates on Tesla vehicles. Elon Musk says that Dojo will be operational by 2022, next year. Number three, computer vision. At the beginning of Tesla AI Day, Tesla showcased full self-driving in action. I'm not the man you want. You've made a mistake. I'm in touch with technological advances pretty well everywhere. And I can tell you that no one has produced anything like this.
Full self-driving is currently a $10,000 package, or you can subscribe for it in the US. It lets the car automatically change lanes, navigate on highways, move into parking lots, and even emerge next to the driver. Tesla calls this the summon feature. Dojo will power Tesla's full self-driving software and eventually bring robotaxis to life. So here I'm showing the video of the raw inputs that come into the stack, and then neural network processes that into the vector space. And you are seeing parts of that vector space rendered in the instrument cluster on the car. Tesla isn't just planning on stopping here. Solving computer vision unlocks new possibilities. Those of you who have seen the full self-driving uh, beta, I uh, can appreciate the rate at which the Tesla neural net is learning to, to drive. And um, so this is a, a particular application of AI, but I think there's, there's more, there are more applications uh, down the road that will make sense. Elon Musk said, we basically want to encourage anyone who is interested in solving real-world AI problems, either the hardware or software level, to join Tesla or consider joining Tesla. But what we're, what we're trying to do here at, at Tesla is make useful AI that people love and, and is uh, unequivocally good. As a Tesla investor, Tesla's AI day has given me a lot of confidence in the long-term potential of the company. I don't expect it to move the stock in the short term. In fact, I think that it may even drop because many people may not understand what was presented. That's okay. Tesla's main audience are the engineers who are watching this and are now inspired to join Tesla to help them change the world. I'm very inspired hearing what Tesla is doing and I hope you are too. Elon Musk says that not every day should be about solving problems. Sometimes, we need to wake up to things that we look forward to. And I agree with that. If you found this video useful, click the like button. Hit subscribe to stay updated for future videos. Have a good weekend, stay hungry, stay foolish.